three. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna look up jerking off dogs Help me. on my phone. Help me. <laughs> Coming on through. Hey, man, guess what? I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> I should get a discount. I masturbate every day after work. Smell this. Does <laughs> <laughs> it smell like one? I don't know, man. It smells like a bubble, dude. <laughs> another episode of straight garbage i just have a thought i seen his mouth was open and i was wondering if he's gonna say something or not i think he's having I was a doing stroke. the stroke <laughs> <laughs> you glad you guys were real concerned thanks hey before we get going please like and review <laughs> <laughs> give us a five star even if you you're gonna come over here for 30 seconds of radio and then peace out hey i was just trying to get it off the, out of the way so we don't forget go fuck yourself oh, okay and if anybody knows good news, your, your manager, <laughs> editor, Josh, just had a stroke. Welcome to Straight Garbage Podcast, a uh, three garbage man show. One guy's on his way out the door. One guy <laughs> refuses to fucking leave. Wait. Mitch. <laughs> my two guys. What? And my two guys. No, I said <laughs> three. <laughs> one's on, on his way out the door. Three plus one plus one equals five. Well, I thought he had a foot in the grave. Huh? He's pretty old. That's true. I am fucking old. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking a little flushed there, dude. Good. I what know. was it like uh, picking up garbage with the horse-drawn garbage trailers? That was back in the day, man. It was pretty rough, but we did it. So. Were you part of picking up the corpses in England in the 1700s? <laughs> yeah, no, no. No. Please tell me. Do you and the horses have to fight over apples in the <laughs> yard waste? <laughs> yeah. I've had a couple workers that eat out of the apples out of the yard waste cans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know one of them all know right now. Well, I don't know if the guy on the end knows him or not. But I saw a video <laughs> of Jay the other day. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Black and white? No, no. <laughs> but it looked like he was taking care of one of his horses. Oh. <laughs> this guy literally fucking horse is sitting there with a boner. Oh, no. It's and he okay. fucking, like, lays down on the snail, and the horse, like, gets up. And he's, like, literally grabbing the horse's dick and, like... Damn. Aiming it into I, his ass, like I'm just a little curious. On are you fucking why serious? were you yeah. watching this? Where did you find and, this? Yeah. And Hold how up. long did you watch this for? Uh, okay, long enough. My, yeah, my buddy sent it to me. Oh fuck! And then just out of sheer morbid, like, are you fucking serious, dude? Yeah, I watched it till the first horse thrust, and then I fucking was like, nope. <laughs> Pussy, Dude. I would watch that whole thing and then I know you would have showed everybody. I so you don't know what happened at the end. I'd be like, hey, nephew, I don't know. I, I can only assume massive internal damage. Well, oh, dude. How, how do I people don't... survive? Like, I you've heard know. of the Tijuana donkey shows and stuff. Dude, yeah. How do how do they survive? I mean, we've all seen a horse donk. I mean, yeah. don't pretend you haven't. We've all seen a horse donk. Dude. Dude. Awesome. I, I said this on the show before. My cousin went to the donkey show and, uh, I was like, well, how was it or whatever? You know, this has been like 20, 30 years ago. I go, how was it? He goes, honestly, I felt sorry for the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, fucking brutal. So what does happen? I honestly don't know. I should ask him. No, 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 no. When the horse, did the horse wreck your shit? Or... Oh, God. <laughs> It wasn't me, man. No, he is. Is that why you have bathroom problems? <laughs> yeah. No, that's Robert. <laughs> no, I fixed my shit. No more fat. No more fat. Yeah. Dude, no, 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 no. Like two, two or three weeks ago, you said you fixed your problem. Yeah. Last week, you said your problem wasn't fixed. Oh, that's because I ate And now something. it's fixed again? It's because I ate something bad. I, what, what did it, oh. Yeah, pork, I, pork. Yeah, I fucking, I tried to like boil a bunch of pork and I thought I'd just be able to like get rid of the fat, but it didn't work. Mm. <laughs> So I can eat like pork loin because I can, I can chop the fat off the back, but there's fat all over and pork roast, so I can't have that. So I'm back to one shit a day. I got a timer set. I got to go in there. <laughs> Speaking of timers and shits, where are we at? Four. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> How we, we, we haven't made it through a show oh. without talking about shit. Yeah. No. Hey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> but I don't know what I can't this remember. This is not a shit free show. I can't remember what Bachelor it was. A buddy of mine. I he did that. I can't remember, but like about <laughs> it was a long time ago. It was back in the nineties, 
But the the joke was the best man got him a video, like a porn video, but it was all like with animals. A dude <laughs> did some of the shit that was wow. It was pretty So did you guys watch that at the party? I, uh, well that was the joke. Oh. And then then we were all just kinda like, What the fuck is going on here? But I can't remember I can't remember who it was that was getting married we were at the bachelor party. Were they gay? No, no. Oh. Are they male? Huh? Dude, I can I can be okay with a lot of shit, but like dude, humping no. an animal, like come on, dude. No, you're not humping <laughs> shit. An and there's it was, no way you could hump a horse. The horse is totally a uh, fucking... gallon bucket. It was a female, and she was like had her assume. legs wrapped around the horse hindquarters, just going for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, this will work better. <laughs> Does she have the little slapper thing, <laughs> smacking it on the ass? Well, all up until a few years ago, that was still legal in Washington or Oregon. It should be legal in every because? fucking state. It was in the newspaper. Some guy got killed by a horse. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's and his face did the, the whole episode on, well, not a whole episode, but, yeah. Well, and I remember reading about this in the newspaper. We had a high school class, Kearney Vance, and, of course, that somebody brought that article in, and... Um, the family tried suing the ranch, I guess you'd call it, but there was no legal well, issues because he'd signed a waiver. And then that, I think it was Washington. It, it was legal. <laughs> Dan Cummins I mean, does an episode where he talks all about it. That's all fucked. That's fucked up. Oh, uh, about the weird laws no. per state. No, there's there's one where it, I, I think it's the. Uh, the dolphin humping. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah. And, and then the he, people think, humping dolphins and shit. Well, no, there was this, that psychedelic episode that he did <laughs> with the, they're trying to, like, get fucking the dolphin. They had the chick live in the little aquarium thing with the dolphin and have sex with the dolphin and shit. And then at the end, he goes on and he's talking about that guy over there. And, fuck, I can't remember what town it is over there. But uh, he said that that was not just one occurrence that farm or ranch over there in Washington. Oh, that, I do remember that's that. That's actually, like, what they did there. That guy had, like, hundreds of tapes of people getting humped by his horses and shit. Hey, Corey, Jesus is that about the time that you moved, switched houses? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, shut the fuck up! <laughs> I don't get the joke. I bet you don't. <laughs> Does your wife know you're drinking caffeine tonight? Uh, no. You're not don't supposed to have me. caffeine? I don't think you. I like can it. have whatever I want. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Greg, give me your phone for a sec. Let's confirm <laughs> this. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> hey, it's a cool Corey Trey shrooms tonight. <laughs> yeah, I have he said it's okay. <laughs> Robert pulls him out of his pocket. Hey, what went all the podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I was thinking, Robert, you should uh, put some of those in the Josh's nose spray. He has nose spray. Oh, he snorts I've that taken shit. them before. But yeah. at work, at work, <laughs> when you're welding and grinding and painting on dumpsters, dude, imagine the fucking masterpiece <laughs> of a dumpster I would have when I'm done. If you guys, dude, I'd like. That straight line where I weld the the new bottom to the existing dumpster. There's just like this like mountain range of weld it's going just, up the dumpster, not even connecting the bottom to it. You know, like the tattoos people are getting, like the mountain tree yeah. silhouettes. One of those, just just a very picturesque. Yeah. Dumpster. I've honestly so, in an alley next I've, to a shitty apartment. Then they send me for a drug test. Yeah. You'll pass. I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> I've tried to do all kinds of, like, shit. I cannot concentrate worth a fuck when I'm on those. Like, I can't, I don't know. I can't even fucking take a shit by myself. <laughs> it's just, like, I'm in there till like, just my body's done. And my mind's just like, <laughs> well, that was nice. <laughs> you never get those six hours back. Yeah, like, did I wipe? I'm like, fuck, I don't even care. That was nice. <laughs> Like, Dude, I can I only imagine what your underwear looks like <laughs> oh, on a daily basis. I, and I swear, it's like his dishes. She just throws them I away. I swear, there's <laughs> been at least one time when I like I forgot to pull up my underwear and I just pulled up my pants and like went out of the bathroom and I was like, "This fucking feels weird. Why is my shit all bunched up? <laughs> I gotta go back in." So I just can't fucking concentrate on anything. I'm just like fucking a spaceman. Nice. Just, I'm gonna rock his ship. <laughs> are, you, uh, are you a tidy whiteies or boxer guy? A boxer, I don't know what the boxer brief. brief? Like, a half and half? I think. The tight boxers? 
Oh no, you gotta get the stretch. You gotta give them to your fat cousin for a week. Stretch them out. <laughs> Just buy a bigger size. They cost more. <laughs> Wait, where are you? I don't live. Where next are to... you buying your underwear from? Or they're charging you by the by the yard instead of the bees. Amazon. <laughs> We don't hey, wait. Actually, Amazon or the Amazon? How much do you have to pay your fat cousins, uncles, whatever to stretch them out for you? Um, I don't know. Dude, you should sell your underwear. <laughs> oh yeah, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who the fuck would want? There's those? some weird fuckers. Yeah, I agree with Jay. You might actually make some money yeah. on that. Well, we could. I could try to sell them on Backpage. I'll be the first guy ever to go on the new Backpage and try to <laughs> actually sell something that's not sex. <laughs> Do it. It's just one set of underwear, healthy then, dump inside. There's prob- there's no probably, porn. There's probably people out there that no they want you to wear them for a day after you shit got. your pants. I could do that. Can you imagine that? Dude, I'll, I'll fucking, it'll be like 120 this summer. I'll wear them all week long. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ship them off. <laughs> you got like eight or nine yeah, steel bags. Much, but shit. <laughs> That'd be nice, eh? <laughs> <laughs> It'd probably be some kind of Canadian twink that would buy them too. Then, uh, they wouldn't pass customs because it smells <laughs> weird drugs. You're gonna have to have that one, Adam. That one porn star she just got put in the hospital for fucking. She's selling fart jars. <laughs> Not even joking. Can she's I? She's farting that? in a jar, capping it off, and selling it. And then why she got put in the hospital is because she was eating all these fucking gassy f- foods. Beans and whatever else. Well, like, oh, that's my normal diet. I Chili, know. But beans, she, I guess she was, like, she was doing like, fuck, I can't remember the number. I don't want to say it, but it was a lot. It was well, like 30 or 40 of them a day. Well, how many, what, how much is she getting out of a jar? I don't know. I'll do it for half. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're saying. People pay for some weird shit, man. Oh, I got it, Mitch. <laughs> I, I got it. All fart in a jar. Okay. And then we start a YouTube channel, and you open it up, and you smell it on... Oh, um, like a, like a, a, a box Try and open. see yeah. if you can tell them what he had. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 here, here. Or, or we could just go straight to the source, and you could suck a fart out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't been said on the show in a long time. <laughs> I know both are disgusting. I'd still rather suck it out of the jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, guess what I broke into before I came over? Your my, gas mask? My smoked pickled eggs. Oh, fuck. Oh, nice. Keep them fuckers at home. <laughs> oh, you're going to smell them. <laughs> oh, you didn't God. bring any? No, Josh said he's going to throw them away. They put a lot of work into them. Oh. He will not. Just fight <laughs> yeah, him. I wouldn't have eaten them. <laughs> Just fight him. No, he, won't, he won't do anything. If you drop something so hot that I smell it, <laughs> even though I can't smell anything... I will literally come over there and waffle stomp your fucking nuts into waffle, my chair. Waffle stomp me right through your drain, huh? Yeah. Okay. Did Josh and I were talking today, and there's this this dude that, like, that holds a world record for getting kicked in the nuts. It's like 1,100 oh. like, pound feet of force. Wow. From like an, like an MMA guy. How'd they not explode? They said that his nuts have no feeling anymore. Because he just gets hit in the nuts. All it gets hit with, like, got hit with like a fucking sledgehammer in the nuts. Jesus Christ! Why would hey, uh. hey fucking world record, man? Guinness <laughs> has got to pay you for royalties. <laughs> you see that joke that's floating around? Uh, that's floating around TikTok right now. And it's like, you know, my my dick's in the Guinness Book of World Records, right? And they're like all looking at him, and he goes, "Yeah," and he goes to the library, told me to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Josh, you know your twist stops, right? Yeah, but I have this cool bottle opener, so I wanted to use it. I, I don't blame. I got one too. At home. Yeah, I got, I got one. one too, Josh. Yeah, I'm, I got, I'm not judging you. I'm just, I got one. In so my I'm pants. not. I'm not a unique. I'm not just an original bastard. <laughs> I got one in my pants. Do you? Yeah, you've used it <laughs> <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> Dude, I told you never to bring that up. Oh, what's the deal with everybody? Ha- like the hats now have fucking bottle openers. Fucking that's flip s- flops. That's yeah, yeah flip flops. So the flip flops are kind of disgusting. I mean, do you really want to open your drink on the bottom of your shoe? I, don't, I mean, how much dog shit have you stepped in? Uh, enough. Uh, enough. <laughs> Once to is where, too many. Enough <laughs> where you're not going to want to ever use a shoe to. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. That. 
Um, yeah, I mean, we just bought a new cooler for for side by side, and it's got one on each corner of the cooler, which I get it. That's a cooler, but why the fuck you need it on your hat or your flip flops and shit? You know. I've got one on my uh, spare tire rack for my Jeep. <laughs> do you? I do. Actually. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a new hat with a fucking potato peeler on it. I like it. Yeah. Josh came over the other day and we couldn't find a bottle opener at my house, so we had to use a pair of pliers. <laughs> you didn't use your wedding ring. No. You're a real really? alcoholic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my my brother in law he takes the wedding ring and just goes pops it right off of the well, Good ring. for your brother. No, it's it's really a, I mean like after fifteen or twenty of them it you you can't get your ring off. But... If uh <laughs> if you work out and you like if you, if you work your glutes or something, you could probably do it. I I just take my chew. I don't really know what a glute is. Your but butt? A glue? Isn't that like your ass? Yeah, I think so. I just take my can of chew. But see, I've never been able to do it with a can of chew. Really? I got a chipped tooth from doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was in Canada uh, on a ski trip, and there was a German guy up there, and he'd take two of them, two bottles, and go top to top, and then I, pop them, and both of them would come off. And I'm like, how the fuck did you do that? I've seen that before. It's actually pretty neat. We had, <laughs> we were seniors in high school, and we were senior trip in Mexico, and they had a glass table. And we, that table looked like a, a live edge table by the end of the week. Oh, yeah. From chipping all the glass off of one of the beer bottles. You mean like obsidian? Yeah. <laughs> Poor mate probably had to get a tetanus shot after that. <laughs> do they do that in Mexico and get tetanus shots, or do they just live through it? They say don't drink the water there. That's why we drank so much beer. <laughs> Tequila, vodka, right? Rum. I know you're like God. I wish I could get back to the state so I could drink water like I normally do every day. Yeah. I guess where they where you fuck up is I've never been to Mexico, but I guess like actually I have when I was a kid. But but uh, I guess where you fuck up is where you order like mixed drinks and the ice is in the mixed drink, and then that oh. that's you know. I remember hearing I'd be that. Fucked. I remember hearing yeah. that. Yeah. Here an airplane. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're going to Mexico. I think United's on their way over to the fucking airport. <laughs> so, Hopefully, they're going to crash into my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of trains, <laughs> I said airplanes. Oh, oh never. Why okay. the fuck did you park in my spot? Ooh. Oh, today? Yeah. yeah I I saw because that. you weren't here. Dick. I saw that. Well, you were late again. No, I, you, you were late for work twice, late for the podcast today. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I was right on time. Today? Yeah. And he's late because of me. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I had to stop and get the whiskey. Yeah. Or bourbon or whatever the fuck that is. It looks like a turtle to me. Yeah. Caramel turtle. This turtle. Caramel turtle. <laughs> turtle. So, anybody got nominees for Deuce of the Week? Uh, Steve nominates Corey. Why? Oh. Mostly because of the information I've been filling him with. Like, it's mostly lies, but... <laughs> Nice. I think Steve probably... Information's <laughs> code name for semen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Steve, Steve is probably nominating uh, Mitch for both the semen and the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> How was it, Mitch? You know... Uh, w- did that make a loud noise when it hit the ground? Actually, no. It was... <laughs> it, it maybe did, but like there was a van... Um, I don't know, maybe two feet away from oh, it. Oh, and I, I'm in panic mode. And <laughs> the little bucket sliding and I... The controls are backwards of like front end loader what I'm used to, and so instead of tilting it back up, I just dropped it. And I, Tool! oh fuck that man! Seven, fucking six. They should have parked two. further away than two feet. Yeah, fuck those guys. They should have a real fucking garbage man picking yeah. up that dumpster too. Well, <laughs> garbage tip of the day. Fuck yeah. you, dude. People don't think that yeah. things can't go wrong. Actually, garbage <laughs> tip of the day would have been him. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Tipped over. Tip over. I'll give you a tip yeah. again. So just so you guys wanted, if you want to know, uh, Mitch was doing front load and it was a six yarder, and he lost it off his forks. Can we call it an eight yarder to make it sound good? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> you lost a six, you fucking idiot. Hey, luck, no luckily, one loses a six. Hey, I luckily lost, it was on the ground and not in the hopper. I, I That's lost, all I'm gonna say. I lost a six in the hopper. Oh, so okay. And I then that, I have to, I have that was to. fucked up. Oh, okay. I you did. Eat. Well, not recently. <laughs> well, I know a guy. Really? <laughs> not recently. Yeah, it's when he's fucking I training. Haven't. Duh. I know. I, I like used to say Brad's. that too. I was like, I have never lost one. Brad's lost one. Everybody, Steve. Oh, I've never lost well, one. I'm the only one who hasn't. Oh, dude, that ain't fucking just slip. I mean, it was. I just pulled the forks down, and all of a sudden, because it was dark. It was uh, Aaron's 
or, mm. you know, Aaron's rental or whatever. We get there early in the morning. It's dark. I couldn't hardly see. It's raining. I go to pull the fucking forks down. I'm like, that's got to be good. Pull it down. It's just the forks. I'm all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> they must take their dumpster away. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Tell me no. you just kept going. No, I couldn't. <laughs> you couldn't because it's sticking up so high. We took out fucking traffic lights and shit. Yeah. Because it was like. So they had to come down there? Oh, yeah. They had to come down there. Shitty. How did he get it out? <laughs> I didn't yeah. So for, I put the forks, forks back up. And then uh, as Ren and Mark, or f- the it was who? The guy, <laughs> well, I we had two marks. The first mark gets there in the morning. Man, I don't know what you but anyway, uh, so they just they just basically kind of guided it back on the forks. I was like, so I just let the forks kind of like down. No, oh, so you didn't chain it up or anything no, like that. No, because it didn't go down in the hopper. It stayed up on top of that. So that luckily that top door wasn't open all the way, so I got hung up on that. So I'm blaming it on that. Well, I'm blaming that. <laughs> I'm blaming this one on the, the those CrossFit kids doing CrossFit. They tipped it over before we got there. <laughs> There's no CrossFit kids around there. <laughs> Have a relevant joke. There's a CrossFit gym. Like, it was funny the first time. There. It was kind of funny the and, first and time. And CrossFitters run. This is, I think, the yeah. But the podcast has the our, our listener hasn't heard it yet. <laughs> our listener has not heard the joke yet. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's why we all try to come up with like. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should work on that. You're welcome, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna file a sexual harassment suit if you're not careful. No, Joke's no. on him, he's not gonna get the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Just Congratulations, Indian. Rob, you get a bunch of fucking debt. <laughs> But, uh, and, and, a, and a nice cushy still at the podcast. You haven't paid for that yet. I just That's gave, my stool. I just gave you $100. That didn't pay for the stool. <laughs> did I pay for mine? Well, I'm gonna, uh, did I pay for this one? Yeah. I'm going to leave some stool in this stool. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure Robert and Mitch are the only ones that never paid for a stool. Ooh. I offered to bring my own. Yeah, and I said no. Yeah. <laughs> so to me that says, no, hey, I will you. buy your own stool. Speaking of buying a stool. That's all right. <laughs> just just think about this. If this podcast takes off and we get paid and you're like, how come I don't get any money? I said, well, I decided no. <laughs> <laughs> or is your dedication to the show? Well, I hope you insure yeah. the studio for a bunch then. <laughs> You're going to burn it down? I didn't Dodge. say that. You red, did. A red Dodge sinking up the other side. <laughs> That's all right. You can deal with my wife. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> She's feisty. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what's it smell like? Anal stool. Smells like caramel turtle. <laughs> I can't really smell. You ever had turtle? I mean, um, no. We should try smoking a turtle. Let me see. Yeah, it. we could probably just like why, throw it on the girls, the, the coals upside down, it. and yeah, make a turtle bowl, like yeah. a bread bowl. But you can buy a turtle. Hey, they got. Let's mm. just fuck. Oh, I, I, I know where there's wild turtles. Yeah, yeah there's one at Bob's. Bob's. Fucking Ed. <laughs> it's not wild. Yeah, that's a tortoise, pretty, not a turtle. It's pretty fucking wild. It's quit spinning. I'm trying to read it. <laughs> you grab it, read it. I was gonna show. I was gonna show what it says on the bottle. But... Oh, so we can get a sponsorship. Yeah. Who are you showing? There's no camera there. Yeah, right here there is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the camera going this way. Oh, this one from Corey. You're not even in front of it anyway. <laughs> How well, drunk was, are you? That's why I was spinning it around. I was gonna, fuck, dude. Well, we'd like underneath the J or IT guy. <laughs> fuck, I ain't no IT nothing. Well, no shit. <laughs> well, let's try it. Who's the dish of the week? Uh, I don't make Mitch. That's fine. Why just, Mitch? Because I've been Steve's snack bitch for the last two weeks. Just because. Dude, I let you drive on Tuesday. <laughs> no, I actually, I've been driving with Steve the last couple. Well, obviously, I drove with him today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, did you peel his banana for him? <laughs> <laughs> actually, no. It just it was a. Uh, see, today was sandwich, pretzels, granola bar, and diet coke. Oh, when he asked me to fucking give him a banana, I just broke it in half. <laughs> Did you really? 
I wonder what he would do, though. <laughs> Nothing. Steve, what would you do? <laughs> Steve doesn't listen. Yeah? Hey, thanks. If he did, we, we would know by now. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> So, so a... oh, in the continual saga of Josh driving through Steve's yard, <laughs> Steve uh, parked one of his cars. Dude. In the... What? Do you see the hair float in there? <laughs> Is there? <laughs> Can you not see that right there? There's a little black hair. Oh, it's, a, tur- it's, it's a, a turtle hair. It's a hair just pulled out. It's a turtle I'm hair. hair. I'm, I'm waiting for it to one. float. I'm waiting for it to float. Oh, my God. Just drink it. Yeah. It's sterilized. It's, it's an it's, alcohol. It's just from my sweet baby. I'm not worried about your dog. I just don't want a hair in my mouth. No. Oh. <laughs> no wonder your wife hates you. Oh here he is. <laughs> uh, so anyways, in the continuing saga of me driving through Steve's yard, he parks his car there in the spot where I'd been driving through it to block, you know, whoever from parking there. So he's, he's mad about cars driving on the yard. So he parks his car on the yard. Okay. Well, there's this little space just, you know, wide enough for a vehicle to drive through. Between the telephone pole. Between this telephone pole and the street pole that are also in his yard. So, once again, Corey being a bad influence and all, we drive through (laughs) that spot in his yard. (laughs) Wow. I think it was last week he was telling me he actually had to move that, uh, I think it was that Mazda maybe. The wind's getting rid of because the tree trimmers are coming through and it's underneath the tree. Yeah, the little the, the Dorito machine. No, the other one. Yeah, the Dorito machine, the RX8. Oh, that, why is it a... Oh, I mean... Rotary. I yeah. yeah. <laughs> the piston looks like a Dorito. Yeah. Oh, dude, my buddy tagged me in this deal. I saw that. Where a guy took two or three four rotors and machined a block. So it's like... You know, the one set of four and then the two set of four. So it's a 12 rotor, like 5,000 horsepower. Huh. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's that pretty cool a, looking. Sounded wicked. That <laughs> a, a Tommy Gate truck at work's got a rotary motor in it too. It's an airplane motor. <laughs> Was that the conversation you and I had about? We interrupt this groundbreaking <laughs> mix story for literally anything else. <laughs> Okay, I do remember this. Yeah. Why was that? Uh, one of the guys we work with thinks every single Mazda motor is a uh, a Wankel motor, a Wankel rotary motor. And yeah, so right, he, right. And so he's he. I don't know if it's him or one of his friends wants to buy that the Tommy Gate truck at work because of the motor. <laughs> um, that's like a six point two diesel. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a fucking Chevy. <laughs> you heard no, the, the you pickup, heard the, maybe it's not the Tommy Gate one. It's one that truck boss drives around. The, nope. uh, that's, that's a Chevy, a, that's too. A Chevy yeah. too. Or was there a Mazda before? I don't know. No, I just... The... I don't know. Because he wanted Not to buy... Not since I've been there. there. We had a Mazda two-wheel drive pickup. And maybe that's what he was talking mechanics about. The mechanics used as a, as, a, as a mechanics truck. And maybe that's what Tool he was talking about. Two-wheel drive fucking Mazda. Because either him or one of his friends wanted it because it had the, the Winkle Rotax motor in it, which is essentially an airplane so motor. So like, it's like a 90s-style pickup. Yeah. Is that right? He, he assumed it was a, it was a Winkle rotary because it was a Mazda. Oh, because every Mazda, even their minivans, <clears throat> have that motor in them. Makes yeah. sense. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's been a long time ago. The mechanics had that that Ford they have right well, now. Well, and it was fucking. It was ever. no gloves. How long has he been here? Fifteen years, probably. Thirty. Fuck, I don't know. He's there. Well, if you figure an hour wise, twice as long as you. So I've been. I've been here. <laughs> Fuck around. He 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 beat Corey to work yesterday. I think he beat me there today too. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Why? What's well, the that's, that's the point? question. I mean, why? Dude, I'm telling you, him and Cartman are banging. <laughs> you think they get? They both get there early in the morning, and then just like your truck or mine. Do you think they yeah. get into the, the dirtiest hopper they can find? <laughs> Did you not hear that? <laughs> the dogs barking. Yeah. yeah. You just act like we do. Well, yeah. well, you don't have dogs. Yeah, what do you want them to do? Do you hate animals, Jay? Go beat them. I got shot colors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, huh. Shut the fuck up! It must be nice. <laughs> oh, see, nice. You know what's better is an airsoft gun. I'm joking. I don't shock my dogs. Oh, they're poor my shit. I don't. They're my babies, <laughs> man. They are. We've got a beagle. She's a hound, you know. Yeah. And whenever you take her into the woods, when she was a pup anymore, she doesn't. But 
you would just have to turn it up all the way and hold that button down and she took off running or she wouldn't come back. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then she would sit there and just kind of do one of these numbers <laughs> until she got out of range of the remote and keep going. Yeah. <laughs> she powered through it? Oh, yeah. I, I Stop let my, little shits. I let my dog out last night to go to the bathroom and there was a cat in my yard. Oh, fuck. And I saw, I saw the cat before he did. <laughs> this is pretty cool, actually. He went out he went to the bathroom and he was like, probably 10 feet from it and then all of a sudden he saw it <laughs> he took off running out my driveway you know oh, yeah. and i just yelled at him and said chewy stop and he locked him up just stopped turned around and came back right up the stairs and went went to bed never had a dog do that <laughs> it was amazing it was that. awesome my my he was hauling i thought he was gone my, my <laughs> border collie yes she'll do that yeah but the uh, half border collie and uh Austrian Shepherd, that bitch be gone. She fucking been gone. <laughs> right? Yeah, and then my Golden Retriever, we've been like, hey, that's what the fuck am I going to chase that for? <laughs> you got a treat? No, my Golden Retriever will chase it and pretend like he's got earplugs in. <laughs> fuck you, dude. I'll do what I want. <laughs> when my dog was younger, there's there's always been cats in the neighborhood. And she'd take off off the porch, just baying, barking. The cats would usually take off. And then finally, one of the cats like, fuck this. See what happens. Doesn't jump off. I think I think he still had the stumps in the backyard. Didn't move. Just sat there and looked at her. And my dog like looks at it, turns around, and goes back into the house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do now. They always run. It's not running. What do I do now? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dad, what's going on? There's a cat over there. So Mitch is the, the douche of the week. Yes. I you know fuck it. Why not? I got some nominees. <laughs> I'll save them for next time. <laughs> Because the guy's almost every week we anyway. Do a, we don't do a douche of last week. <laughs> well, no. But Let's he will be it. again next week anyway. He's almost oh, okay. every week. So. <laughs> no, I, I take it proudly because I haven't done shit for the last two weeks. I haven't right. done shit since you worked here. <laughs> <laughs> and? Me and Josh is talking about it. Hey, 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 Me and she's douche of week. <laughs> Won't fucking leave. Well... After some mildly retarded reasoning, I do believe we have found our douche of the week. Not bad. That's actually pretty That's good. That's fucking really good. What were we mixing, Robert? Wow. Root beer and... Uh... Good job. And, uh, hey, thanks. Sin- <laughs> I just Sin- bought it. You picked it out. Sinfire and root beer schnapps or something. Yeah. Wow. It's so warm. That's actually really good. There was another one they had there, too. Yeah. Some sort of chocolate. Huh. That's actually pretty good. It tastes oh. like caramel. Yeah, you should probably, yeah. like... Hence it. the name? No, I know, Fucking but... I don't, I don't... Well, don't the name the isn't turtle. caramel. The name is what? Caramel what's, turtle. What's the brand of it, though? Mm. Balton? Balzon? Balotin. Balotin. Yeah. Should probably take that to DQ and have him turn it into a blizzard. Oh, fuck mm. yeah. Dude. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Could you good. pour some of this in there before you stir it? Thanks. You know, uh, Red Robin has a, a beer fucking milkshake. Uh, yeah. you know, that, I did not know Beer that. and ice cream, I don't know. That's what a milkshake is. Ice I've cream never, I've never had one, but beverage, like, right? we know what a milkshake is. No, I'm asking you, what is a milkshake? It's milkshake and up. So, but it's the milkshake's ice cream. There's a float, and then there's a milkshake. A float's just ice cream poured on, and the milkshake's mixed, right? We interrupt this groundbreaking Mitch story for literally anything else. It's not a story, it's a question. <laughs> it's a stupid fucking question. I'm stupid, so I ask stupid questions. <laughs> Am I right? Milkshakes is the blended ice cream. I'm gonna fucking hit right? it again. <laughs> I saw I saw a Mustang, never know. I saw a Mustang today with a they sticker on the windshield that said uh, <laughs> "Crowd Control." <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. What is that? Dude, crowd Control? If crowd you control. don't rename your car to Crowd Control <laughs> for racing season, oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> you're not fucking doing it right. If you guys, what is the name of your car currently? Uh, Betsy. Nothing. No, <laughs> what, what was its name? It was, it was the Orangustang. The Orangustang. <laughs> <laughs> Did your daughter name Okay, that? the Orangustang. Two, two things. Two, two things. You either change it. You either change it to crowd control. I spray painted it. <laughs> I got rid of that quick. 
<laughs> I was gonna say, you leave it the orangutan, but you have like this fucking orangutan with a big old long dong out on its hand, just like, Dude. like all across your hood, just like. I got, I gotta interrupt this for a second. So, Brent broke the the handle that you shut the door with in the cart truck. You know they've welded on like three of them already. And fucking Rick goes, just wait for tomorrow. That was yesterday. He goes, wait for tomorrow. I'll have Josh fucking tack that on there or whatever. And Mark looks over at Rick and goes, you want a dick as a fucking door? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, now I've got to make a dick handle for that. I was so fucking hard. I was like, oh, oh my God. I'll bring one in the morning. I got a collection at my house for you. <laughs> I laughed so fucking hard. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> even Ren and Mark. No, let, let's, let's go in Saturday and do that. We'll bring the car truck in. We'll weld a dick <laughs> on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> we'll weld a bunch of spikes everywhere else on the handle so he has to grab the dick. <laughs> just, just go on a like a wish and buy one of them like eleven or twelve inch like steel dicks. So while he's driving around, it's like in his chest. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I know what I know when uh, he said that he goes and Mark just turns on and looks up and goes do you want a dick for a door handle or whatever and I'm like holy shit dude I started laughing so hard we all did we all thought it was funny challenge accepted <laughs> this sounds awesome it's gonna uh, start overheating they're gonna have you just you know plasma <laughs> hole in the hood so it cools better <laughs> Dude, that fucking car truck's done, man. I think seen its last leg. Holy fuck. What is that, like a 90 fucking 90s? 94, 92? Yeah. Fucking Chevy pickup that's seen some miles. Uh, if you think that there's any hope of that thing getting replaced in the future, you're out of your fucking mind. Well, they're supposed to be it's getting like a combo a truck. too. It's supposed to be a combo one now. What the hell is combo? Yeah. Like number five? Like the Can French fries and a like drink? The, uh, That's Mambo. Uh, oh. <laughs> the container truck and a cart truck all in one. With, yeah. the, to with the Tommy Gate and stuff. I don't. I guess that's what they're talking about. Is that with the tablets in Spokane? I, <laughs> why don't they get a I'm just telling truck? you what, what they told me. What's that? So why don't they get a service truck? They're, that, they're supposed to get one of those too. Yeah. Did they just get no, the why the fuck would we get a service truck? <laughs> a truck All that thing is just going to be is fucking trash. They don't right. have tools in it anyway. <laughs> they grab a handful of tools every time they fucking go somewhere. So did you know when... They come out the paradox in the back you of the know, You know when the main mechanic started there? Exactly. He had to buy his own tools. Well, That's a lot of mechanics tool. do. That's his toolbox and stuff in there. Well, it's pretty shite. Well, it's old. I mean, shit, he started there in 92. It's probably original toolbox. Probably paid Obviously, for. Obviously, it's probably it's snap on. It might it's be not, paid for. I don't think, is it snap on? I don't know. I never paid attention. One one yeah, side snap on the other side. Mm. I oh, think you're is right. A craftsman, or you're right. I think he he bought one snap on mm. box, and he's like, <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Just whole never, shit. I would never spend snap but on. But I your, think, bo your box doesn't make you money. But I think now that the company wait, buys wait, wait. tools now, your box doesn't make you money. Maybe not as a mechanic. Yeah. But I mean, it could hit the button. Hit the button. Uh, it could. What boxes don't make people money, Corey? Do you know, I'm just trying to hear you. Know the reference you're making. And boxes here? make girls plenty of money. Exactly. I don't think Corey understands. If somebody explain it to him, I am tired of hearing Mitch talk. <laughs> <laughs> we are thirty. Aren't we all? Thirty nine minutes in. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. yeah. Something about that tuxedo shirt. You realize you're wearing a bow tie and a tie, right? Does it matter? Yeah, you look like a fucking idiot. I don't without <laughs> the shirt or the tie. <laughs> Why is your clip on so weird? I thought they just had like a clip on the back. Hey, hey what's up too. with the? Yeah, the, the it's to help hold it centered oh, under the. This goes under your collar. Oh, I got you. You don't but, have a collar. This is like nineteen seventies vintage. It was my grandpa's. Hmm. Worked to his funeral. They like, didn't didn't know how to tie. Why does it, real it smell long. like urine? He was eighty six when he died. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know how to answer this. Isn't that? <laughs> you picked up nursing home dumpsters, haven't you? 
Yeah. The bottom of it's all urine stained. Urines and dyes. Was that? <laughs> They're too heavy to pick up. I used this truck. Oh. Was that? Was that? Oh. Was that me and you dumped uh, that that nursing home, and uh, the guy that dumped that drives the truck to the landfill fucking was going through it? Oh. What? I've seen them do that before. I was like, though. "What the?" Fuck? I remember you were telling like me 95% about that. Ninety-five percent diapers in there, and he, I know. I know yeah. we, and like it, like it's a fucking like Cabela's dumpster or something. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. What would he find in there? <laughs> They'd probably like find some old woman's ring, oh, like man. stuck in a diaper, right? Fingering herself. <laughs> We're probably making fun of him. He's probably made like fifteen thousand dollars on shit he's found inside that he's, he's specific. Probably, he's probably got like a mason jar full of gold rings and shit and yeah, teeth. Shit. Dude, I don't know, but I was like, Whew. That's yeah, that's one of the last ones. And I mean, that is probably the last one I dig through. It's like, probably it's probably one. the worst one in the valley too. I was like, what the fuck? Wow. I remember it was yeah. smelly. Yeah. Yeah. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of pee, I peed on a three year old. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> yeah. How we deserved did. it. Uh yeah, I was in the bathroom peeing and his dad hasn't taught him how to like do the pee thing yet. And then so he like opened the door and he's like, ha ha and then like went to like touch my pee stream, so I just fucking flicked it on it. <laughs> All I heard was Robert exposed himself to a three-year-old. No, that three-year-old already exposed, exposed himself to me. Lock the door, bro. I didn't know it was going to happen. Like, Whatever. But you, you, you had the choice of turning away or turning towards him. Which did you do? Doesn't matter. It's not my fault. No, no, no. He Answer the question. It. Did you turn towards him or away from him? That will not hold up the door, Robert. That will not hold up the door. He did. He's, he, he, dude, was he was. Him. His <laughs> finger was out like he is fucking ET. He is. He wanted that shit, so I phoned him home. <laughs> he, he ran into the kitchen like. Ah! <laughs> you guys know we're all gonna get subpoenaed to a court case, right? <laughs> And both of our listeners. But all I know is what Robert told me, and 80% of what comes out of his mouth is a straight lie. So I can't help you guys with your investigation. I'll videotape it next time. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out, dumbass. <laughs> no, no, see officers right here. Fuck. Oh, look, it's his fault. Well, that's an open and shut case. Dude, when, I, when I went into the kitchen... And Ashley's like, what's wrong with him? I was like, I fucking peed on him. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Just wash his hands. So I just like turned on the water and like do the thing. And then he like didn't use soap. And I was like, all right, you're good. Here's the towel thing. <laughs> so now your piss is on that towel. Well, it's is a paper it, towel. Is it piss sanitized though? Um, it's you can drink sterile. it. Sterile. Yeah, it's according it. to Bear Grylls, you can drink it. But I also watched him eat a, their apples that bear shit one time, too. Yeah, that guy's fucking an animal. Literally. literally. Fucking. Whoa. Dude, he, he's on a... I watched, on Bear Grylls. I watched him I on a... bear poop. I watched him on a, an island one, and he built a raft or whatever, and he's on rafting out. And uh, he found, a, like, a tube... And he took the ocean water. Was it a condom? And, uh, he no, condom. like he found like a plastic fucking tube. Which who the fuck has that on an island, found, you know? Found it. Yeah, he was found planted. It. He stuck Finded it up, it? Stuck it up his ass and gave himself an enema through the ocean water. Because you can hydrate Wait, that way. no, are you bullshitting us or did he actually do that? That's what he did. He gave himself an enema. He gave himself an enema. Was it that one or was it... Uh, there was a... A couple that that did uh, no, he did. Thing. He did it on his own. I think they did it too. Yeah, because you Wait, somehow you watching, when you Corey? drink it when you drink ocean water that your body can't your yeah, body can't salt. break it down or whatever. Yeah. But when you do it through through your through the like, butt chug, yeah, when you mm -hmm. butt chug ocean and then, water, then you, it will hydrate you without. You yeah, know, I wasn't asking that question. I was uh, I'm, just was a, I'm just telling you what. a couple that did the same thing. I was like, no, it was <laughs> very gross. Josh, can you it was very gross. The more you know, graphic for the YouTube on this one. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Dude, that guy, he's an animal, man. Fuck, I, I don't know. So, 
he was in, I think it was Russia, North, like, I think it was Russia, and he was a, he was watching a bear, and oh, the bear's got food around here, he's here, and underneath of this apple tree, with apples growing on the tree, he's digging through the bear shit, eating the undigested apples out of the shit. Week later, he's advertising for a granola bar. <laughs> Fuck yeah, You want a good old bar Com- I've never tried? Copy Luau. Yeah. yeah. Bear shit granola bar. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck that. Oh, that's not mm-hmm. chocolate. Right. Speaking of shit, so my 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 mom was saying earlier that her uh, strokishly weird uh, boyfriend thing, I don't know, whatever. He keeps having strokes, and then she said he was like trying to like light a cigarette, but thought it was a pipe, so I told her to like give him a dog turd and see if he'd try to smoke that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what you do to like stroke patients with dementia? No. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know many stroke patients with dementia, and... Uh, Joe Biden, right? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I want to know. He has dementia. He likes to stroke. How many? I mean, if I get a job at a nursing home, how many days will I last? I don't give you a full day. How many hours will you? Last? Yeah. How many minutes will you? Dude, last? did you even last two days at Arby's? Well, that was different. That's this was different. actually roast beef, and not you know roast beef. <laughs> You gotta like go into the nursing home and make them trust you first. Jesus oh, Christ! Isn't that what I did at our, our work? <laughs> I mean, Nobody trusts you at our work. <laughs> yeah. oh. We just accepted you. Yeah. Oh. Basically, we're you nice see... so we don't get serial killed by you. <laughs> yeah, when I started, like, okay, this is Robert. Be nice. Just be nice. That's it. That's what they said. Yeah. That's what you said, Corey. Yeah. yeah. That's what I told myself. <laughs> this is Robert. Just be nice. Just be nice. Don't ask questions. Don't don't tell them anything. Don't tell them where you live. Don't tell them how many kids you have. Oh, Robert's been to my house. Yeah, yeah, Robert's been to my house. Too. Yeah. Well, it took two years. <laughs> I, I invited Robert over to my house after like the third podcast. Yeah. Was it that bad? No, my bow was a little sore and <laughs> missing a finger. Have you been invited over since? <laughs> yeah, I think. I don't I mean, remember. He's been over there a couple times. Yeah, his wife fed me. Remember that time you yeah, were like, hey, was... can we come over and plasma cut that shit? And he's like, oh, no, no. Nope, 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 nope. 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 Yeah, my kids are that. home. <laughs> yeah, he cost me like 300 bucks. <laughs> you've, been to my, you've been to my house. Yeah, was it that weird? No, you brought beer. Yeah, warm beer. <laughs> we still that, drank that, it. That was not weird. my fault. We still drink it? No, we didn't. Oh, no, I had cold beer in the fridge, didn't Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I was actually surprised you could get back out of my driveway that night. Why? (laughs) (laughs) It was a late night. Late night. Up late. Tired. Tired, yeah. No, no, I saw saw Robert this morning. I was like, morning, Robert. Like, I'm fucking tired. I'm like, oh. I have been really tired because I Does he have a shift in his pocket? (laughs) (laughs) It's okay, buddy. You're all right. No, I like. I just started to get like used to like the commercial schedule. So at like seven o'clock, I seven o'clock I start getting tired, but I can't go to sleep till like eleven thirty. Then I wake up at like three thirty and just sleep like shit till fucking well, six. And what's gonna piss me off tomorrow? I'm back I, on I'm, residential. I'm on that schedule right now because I'm going. I'm gonna be up at three o'clock. Now. Fucking sucks. It's gonna piss me off. I'm and just. Then, I'm just gonna go have coffee with the the Knicks. That's right. Yeah. And then and then what really sucks is that. And then on Tuesday, you got to do the cardboard route, what I'm doing. So then the, every day of the week, I don't have to be there until like 6.30. Tuesday, 4. Is this motherfucker really complaining? <laughs> yeah. Are you yeah. serious? He's doing this this yeah. week when Corey's been doing this for the last six months. You know how six, long me and Corey have been doing that shit? Oh, my God. Jeez. Here we go. <clears throat> Okay. You're 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 welcome. You, pour, you're welcome by the way. Pour another shot. I pull I pulled myself on the truck that you're on. Due to the podcast, you I did one okay. week of doing cardboard. I... <laughs> What'd you say? I said you're the douche of the podcast because you're bitching about one week of doing cardboard. Oh. Where Corey, I, I hate sticking up for Corey. Thank you. Hey, has I, been doing this for a yeah. long time. Ever since he wow. quit training me, mm-hmm. he's been doing yeah. cardboard every Tuesday mm-hmm. and then residential the rest of the week. Between mm-hmm. me and Josh, yeah. I've been doing this 20 and half years. The time we're like, 20 years. Half the time we're like, eh, who's going to be on it? I'm it's just trying to get a shot out of this deal. Whatever, you know. <laughs> Would you stop rubbing the mic? No shit. Jeez. Wait, so... <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm gonna hit the button. I'm gonna just gonna cut this one off before it even starts. 
We interrupt this groundbreaking Mitch story for literally anything else. Wait, have you guys ever watched the TikTok live videos? Uh, no, not I think live. a couple. They're not that exciting. No, usually. and so what happens to me is I get just tied into them. And, and there's this one lady, and she's got a, her microphone, and she's just smearing different things on it. I don't know if it's for the sound or what it is, but she's got like 10,000 viewers all the time. Oh. Okay, I can't oh. pour over there. I'll get it. <laughs> You'll be fine, Jay. Yeah, not even it's only 90 proof. Tell my wife that when a whiskey dick in it and everything I'll, else. I'll tell your wife that. No, you go ahead and pull down her pants and give her. <laughs> give her the old turtle. <laughs> yeah, Jay. <laughs> Do you, do, you, do you need the turtle and That's the That's what blue I'm going to do the second the wife walks in the door, just right there in the entryway. <laughs> Kids go to bed. Give her the old turtle. Yeah. He's almost out of his shell, babe. It'll be over and done before the kids even know she walked in the door. <laughs> you want to get your pants off. <laughs> right? I am so sick of doing your laundry. <laughs> <laughs> This dish of the week. <laughs> Dude, for somebody that loves alcohol so much, you sure complain a lot every time a I shot's hate, I hate party. hard liquor. I'm not, yes. I don't like, I honestly don't drink hard liquor at all. That's Only hard liquor for the last two years. It's not even hard. Just it's soft. The yeah, hard alcohol know. helps clean out your arteries and when shit. It, it says right here, the softest liquor in America. <laughs> in America. <laughs> But no, even when I'm like, oh my God, it's made in China. <laughs> yeah. My vacation shit, I don't hey, that's do That's the best everybody else does that in China. <laughs> that's because everyone else is cool and you're not. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I, I almost bought Jaeger and I was like, fuck, I hate Jaeger. Yeah. Corey's like, why is that? And I go, fuck, it makes me mean. And he's like, what? Like, yeah, my buddies flew in from Australia that same night and I had it. That night we went out and did Jaeger shots and stuff. I was calling him out in the parking lot that night. And shit. I'm like, <laughs> Dude, like, I want to see this. Stay, stayed off of that shit. Fuck that. I, I want to see okay, this. Okay, next time uh, Steve's here, I want to see you drinking yeah, Jaeger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was in my 20s. I don't know if I can take Steve anymore. <laughs> Like I top, said, I, he, sometimes I doubt his, his street fight credentials. But. He stays on top of his training. I guarantee you, I well, don't. <laughs> and so with Steve, I, I've been working with him for the last almost two weeks, right? For him, it's more of a mental game, I think. Like, he, he might be able to, you know, Dude, fight awesome. someone. Like, he was telling me he's fighting, like, a 20-year-old or some 18-year-old. I guarantee you, he can fight. And him. he just got into his head in the very beginning of their fight. He was like, he was like how long have you been training? Like, six months. He's like, oh, I'm at 39 years. I just got into the kid's yeah. head. And it's a, I think a lot of it for him you at this he, point is a you don't, go, you don't go down there and fucking train with the Gracie family and shit for fun. Yeah. I'm just saying. He doesn't train with the Gracie he, he family. Did, he did for a while. He goes to Okinawa, Japan, and trains. Yeah. Dude, he's fucking, I, mean, I guarantee he's playing Dude, legit. they do like ballet shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Steve listens to this. Like, hey, Josh, you want to do some ballet? Yeah, he's got pictures it's of great that. It wasn't content. like it wasn't like the major Gracies, but it's like their their Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, and like, well, well that's he, a lot different than Gracie. Well, it's the last name's still the same. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, it's, John, it's, like John Wayne. No, Gacy. no, the last name is like Gracie. They have their own their own Brazilian style of Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. So John Wayne Gacy was a martial artist. Yep. I... <laughs> Robert probably wouldn't know who what? knows what I'm talking about. I don't about. even know who John Wayne Gacy is. I never heard <laughs> about him. You guys not saying Gracie just a minute ago? Oh, he I heard John Wayne Gacy. It's what? He was, a really, he was a really fat serial killer that dressed up like a clown, I think. I understand that. Yeah. Everyone else was t saying Gracie. I don't yeah. know ours. The Gracie family. Okay. They're, they're, so they're it's not own... the same last name. No, no. <laughs> you Are you sure it's not the same name? <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously. No, seriously. If, you if, fucking if, if your last name was Gacy and your cousin was a serial killer, wouldn't you just change it slightly so people didn't associate you with him? Yeah, probably not. I bet they're the same family. Yeah. I'd use that to your tactical advantage. <laughs> if your name was Greta, wouldn't you change that so you didn't have to be Greta what? Thor Thornton Bird? Is that her name? Is that oh, right? Thunderbird. Who the fuck is this? Thunderbird? Thunder. Who are you talking about? 
Oh, that little fucking little neo-Nazi environmental lady. Yeah. The trigger girl? Pelosi? Maybe. No. <laughs> that, one. that, like, 13-year-old that goes across the country. Well, I know, but she was thumber. also a trigger girl. Yeah, she, oh, she yeah. goes across yeah, the world probably. telling people oh. how evil they are. Wasn't she, like, all about the school shootings and stuff like that? No, she she at her face mostly, right like, there, global warming and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she can. How dare you? She doesn't have friends, I'm assuming, in school that she's worried about getting shot. Yeah. So who would be her friend? I'd love to have shots at school. I could have sworn <laughs> she was part of like that, that, not Sandy Hook, but the one in Florida. <clears throat> oh, the gay bar shooting? No, one no, the school one? shooting. I don't know. I can't remember where the cop didn't refuse to run into the building. Oh. And he got he got 11 years in prison for not running she into the She protested building. outside the Swedish parliament in 2018 when she was 15. She held a sign saying, school strike for climate. <coughs> To pressure the government to meet carbon emissions targets. Oh, yeah, targets. She's a terrorist. She must hate condoms. <laughs> <laughs> you think she's really got any takers on that one? Dude. She's famous, so. <laughs> she's probably got a shit ton of money, too. Yeah. She gets royalties from CNBC, BBC. Uh, <laughs> The BLT BBQ? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Actually, you know, they, they added... I letters. don't have much standards for looks, but... <laughs> you, they you, add, you I do have some Corey. standards. Corey, you got fun facts? Oh, yeah, I do. I they, they added two it, letters it, it, to LGBTQ. What are they now? I and A. LGBTQIA. What's I? What's I? Love. Interstellar. What's A? <laughs> There's nothing ass stellar pounder? about these people. Is A ass pounder? They need that in there. It says lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans uh, transgender, queer, intersex, or asex. What's intersex? Uh, Where you have sex like with gay. yourself. Uh, I don't know, but it says... Well, I'm part of that group. That's asexual. <laughs> asexual? <laughs> Inter, is that like inner city sex? It says you go to the slums and start says, banging says, people? Where you take your thing and you have sex in inner yourself. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I will never be able to do that without surgery. <laughs> He's all A B. Yeah. I got a times by four to reach around down to the B hole. Oh, you're, really you're trying to reach around? No. It's a long way. Literally anything. No, sorry, but this reach under. Oh, okay, okay. No, the reason you reach around is because it gets tighter. Mm. Well, you, you don't fuck. reach around, you just pull them to the side. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm concerned, Corey. How do you have two kids? <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck? Did you burn them? <laughs> no. What's going on here? It's probably his brothers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's why he doesn't like being around them very much. <laughs> He's a constant <laughs> reminder. He's going to go home tonight. No, babe, we were just working on the studio tonight. We didn't record anything. <laughs> she doesn't listen. I hope not. she got better things to do. <laughs> yeah. Like the other 300 million people in the He's US. All into it, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's He's already watching. Up. I'm trying to read all the LGBTQIA. There's S's. Oh, there's a P in there. There's, too. there's a fucking P. What's there's, the P? There's LGBTQIA. Oh, fuck hand. around. <laughs> so I don't like abbreviations, anyways, and that one just really pisses oh, me so off. So one of the Q's is for questioning, and what? one of the A's is for ally. Ally? I don't know. Like, does that mean like ally? Like, right. like, like World War II allies in the. Uh, no, I think it's ones? like um, you agree that um, you're a top and he's a bottom. Or, oh, shit. And then, yeah. So, okay. I don't. So, questioning. Am I part of the questioning where I'm questioning Corey's sexuality? I think you're supposed to question your own. Oh, okay, I so think I'm that still, means so there. still in the question. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, see, and I'm not going to say why I'm questioning Corey's sexuality. It might be a glimmer of hope. It might just be me questioning it. Push I don't know. <laughs> Look at that smile. He smiles, you can't see his eyes, though. Quit smiling. I want to see your eyes. I always have the smile. <laughs> you're not that funny. It's just you're per giggling. permanent. <laughs> Josh is giving that. That's what it, that's, that's his like, oh, I wish you'd shut the fuck up face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you're so silly. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've never talked like that. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey, plug your ears what? for a minute. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe we could get to work on like an ejector seat for uh, yeah. chair number uh, six over there. Okay. Just you can take them off now. Okay. <laughs> this says um, asexual is a person who is not attracted to or in a sexual way to people of any gender. So what are they That's attracted what to? Oh. What about a dolphin? Maybe the A is for animal. It probably should be because it says or aboriginal to people of any gender. So a dolphin's not a, or a horse. Not a people. A horse is not a people. It's not a human. So asexual. Wait, have you ever watched Mr. Ed? Animals. The a, a, asexual must mean um, animal bestiality. Sexual. Animal sexual. You're asexually. What if they're sexually attracted to a plant? Plant's not an animal. Yeah. Well, what the fuck? You gotta fuck a fuck a That's fucking the penis, plant penis sexual. fly trap. What about like a donut? Is there a D in there for donuts? Yeah, donut sexual. I mean, seriously, have you seen some of the ads for donuts? <laughs> Dude, when they're pouring that like warm glaze over the hole. Wait, Corey might be part of this group after that little noise he just made. Jesus Christ. We're gonna have to start calling him Homer. I like donuts. You see these glazed donuts, they're just dripping. I mean, come on. Right? What are they trying to attract there? Fat guys or perverts? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't care. They don't either. A donut sale is a donut sale. Exactly. Yeah. They don't care. Eat, it, they, eat they, it or fuck it. We don't care. They don't care what happens outside the doors of that store. Right. We thought we knew what the Dunkin' Donuts really meant, but apparently they're for Dunkin'. Your dick. Oh, you didn't need to add that part. I mean, gonna, no, he did. He needed it. He did. It's funny still, but I mean, we got it. I didn't. I'm gonna pull a fucking to something. Here. Cheers. I'm gonna be the dish of the week next week. You watch. I'm gonna work hard for it too. Yeah. Oh, well, thank God. I'm gonna get done about one o'clock with the yard waste tomorrow. <laughs> so, have you been on yard waste, Robert? Or is it? Nope. Just more, and he just keeps fucking crying about it and calling me and asking me all these stupid fucking questions. Do we go to pick up bags still? What about on this block? What if they have more than Dad, two bags? Do we have to pick up bags still? Guy. Yeah, I, thought, I think until the end of the month. Yeah, I think April's when it's. Uh, I thought it was March, paper March bags. first. And what what I just love about this is he put in his request form. It's been raining most of the week. There's bags out. The cans are heavy. Fuck that guy. Mm -hmm. Yes, Robert and I. I thought he was gonna have an easy Fuck week. anyone that uses those request forms. Robert and I are the yard waste guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm right, gonna... Jay? <laughs> I, yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck that guy. We should all put in requests <laughs> for Sean's job. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, truthfully, I want Teresa's job for a day. No, you don't. No, I do. No, I want no. it for a day. Nah, uh, dude, I guarantee you. Oh, no, I would have a blast. Yeah. I guess you should go back and forth. No, you don't. Yeah, we are. Oh, yes, I do. No, well, this is gonna be, I just told one, one day I won the lottery, because every time that phone rings, I'm going to reach over and answer it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, they did, huh? <laughs> they missed your can? <laughs> Tell you what. How about next time you get it out on time and go fuck yourself? <laughs> Thanks for calling. I know I got, uh, I did that 15th Avenue for. Yeah, you had shit. that miss. They put it out late last yeah, week. Yeah, they did. I picked it up. Yeah, they did. It wasn't out. And then she was like, yeah, they said they've been missed last couple of weeks. And I drove around, drove back around. And I'm like, you motherfuckers. Yeah. No, it, was, it wasn't out today either? No. Because yeah, uh, last week it was out. Yeah. Right? Take so, a picture of the house. Oh, well, it's an insurance company too. <clears throat> oh, I think I know which one you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's right by like, uh, the pizza joint right above there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yesterday, Steve and I, assholes. we got a miss. Kind of hate that. We drove by the place twice as a garage door outfit in North Liston. Yeah, I know where you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, we drove by it twice. Once at, I don't know, it was 6.30ish and once again at like 9 not out this Is morning that... we have a miss because it wasn't out at nine right steve was mad i told him but i think that's one of them that, that I was the one you on. said that was so i blamed you on three because uh steve actually talked <gasps> to someone yesterday and he skipped a couple on accident and who so, did steve so i blamed oh, him on you i got you okay that's why he nominated you for douche of the week to make it sound good because he skipped cans? Yeah, and I wasn't going to argue because it's okay. it's just fun to nominate you. I'm, I'm fine with it. I mean... Fun facts. Fun facts. Fun facts. Fun facts. Some fucking change it up. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. 
Fucking boring. No oh, shit. God. Sorry, listeners. This show sucks. No, it doesn't. It's the best Sucks show as the much world. dick as Mitch does. <laughs> Josh. And in case you're wondering, that's a lot. So, but if Bald Tonguing Whiskey's listening, we would love your sponsorship. Bald Tonguing? Well, you fucked that one up. As recently as the 19th. Hold up! What the oh, fuck Jesus. are you doing? We're oh, talking going. about Have Bald Tonguing the jingle? Oh, I forgot about the jingle. Jesus <laughs> God. Some sort of chat rate production this is. Let's get this sh- Fun facts. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact for you. As recently as the 1980s, many researchers and doctors believed that babies could not feel pain, so some were operated on without any anesthesia. Ooh, oh my I god! Heard this, yeah. yes. Yeah, when they cut the foreskin off. Oh, 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 oh. No, okay. they. My son, they they numbed it, but like to watch him like squirm when the needle hit. Like <laughs> no, we we were not in the room for that. I did. I wanted to be there for him. Wait, but how old was your son? How did they like find the infant? Older. Okay, it's your well, son. Well, no, some so... people, some people wait till their kids are older. That's Jewish. There, well, that's the isn't it right? Well, like, I don't know. I've heard of adults think... having it done. Well, it's like thirteen is the is Fuck it? That, it's called yeah. is it called something for? I can't remember. Is it part of the bar mitzvah? Yeah, bar yeah. mitzvah. So there's no art bar mitzvah. Or yeah, something, something, something like that. Is that where they just We're like very cultured they just here. like roll it up all weird and shit and like throw salt in there and. No, you put M and M's in there. Is what I've heard. What now? What? <laughs> <laughs> the salty M and M's, dude. That's pretty brutal, man. Yeah, peanut M and M's, I think. But okay, <coughs> ready for the next one? I think so. In the Wizard of Oz, the snowstorm that took place was actually asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah, honestly, would not <laughs> doubt that. Right well, there. that movie is like Holy from the shit. 30s, 40s, Fuck yeah. right? Yeah, the original. Yeah. yeah, so asbestos wasn't bad back then like it is now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I got, I, the I the molecular compound of asbestos changed and mutated over the years to I, then become COVID. bad for people. Yeah. So I've got something to put onto the uh, Wizard of Oz thing. Okay. A- apparently, if you watch the original... Um, and I don't know what's. I've never actually watched. You see it. somebody hanging in the background. Yeah, there's two. Um, where, they're not dwarves. What are they in the movie? They're they're little people, but there you see there's like two or three of them. You can see in different scenes where they're hanging in the background. Are, like are they, you are you trying to say height retarded? Me? No. No, I'm oh, not trying to him. say that. But people are going to understand what we're trying to now say. Now I'm trying to I'm said. trying to figure out what they were for the witch the midgets. Well, the, that's uh, what I was going to say. For the uh, witch though. No, they were the. Munchkins? Dude, there it's you been, go. Is that what they were, Munchkins? Yeah. Munchkins? It's been like fucking were they 40 really? years since I've seen that. I think, so. think they're the Munchkins, right? That sounds right. Yeah, apparently none of us have actually actually seen the movie. I used to watch it all the time. I, Weren't they the Jay, Lollipop Guild? Jay was probably there oh, for too. the filming of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, apparently, like if you watch closely, <clears throat> there's supposedly Munchkins hanging in the set. Wow. Yeah. Like hanging. Like they Like they... Literally, off themselves. They actually hung themselves. Yeah. Yep. Like in real life. I, supposedly. I've never seen the movie. I wasn't there. I've, I've, Jay, I've heard he this was. before, too. Hmm. But I thought it was like a writer of the show or the some director or something. Was shit. it because he was a dwarf and he hung himself? Or? I don't know. I get up every morning and click the hills three times to go home, and I'm fucking still here, so... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had ruby red slippers. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm missing. Damn it. <laughs> I'd love to see you in some heels. Dude. I mean, I could walk. No I, homo. You, you got you to gotta give those girls credit for walking in those fucking things. I bet, no that'd, be shit. A, I bet that'd be brutal. They All got, right. They got like 500 pound they, girls down in Florida walking in them things. It can't be that bad. <laughs> that they're like 14 hours a day. Dude, so we're they're right. like... They're like fucking titanium heels so they don't break. <laughs> or like sheetrock at my mom and dad's house and it's 10 foot ceilings. And the guy goes, yeah, I got all the tools, man. I'll loan you and whatnot. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I go over there and I'm looking at it. He's like, you need some stilts? And I'm like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> dude, there'll be some serious accident. Oh, you know, you got, like, imagine me drunk, me on stilts. <laughs> It would have been better though, Jay's, if you had like uh, the moon boots from like the nineties. Oh like yeah, the, like, like the trampoline shoes. Yeah, yeah. It's like no, we got some scaffolding. Fuck that, dude. I ain't walking on those stilts. <laughs> okay, another obvious back, Corey. Okay, 
1978, in the midst of his murder spree, serial killer Rodney Alcala won an episode of The Dating Game. The woman who picked him refused to go on a date with, on a date because he seemed creepy. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> <laughs> how how weird is that though? That like, is weird. You're in the middle of killing people, wait, and you just get wait, on here's the, the thing. Game. Here's the thing. You said that the I'm girl, the girl, you didn't have a name, right? No. Okay. Yeah, nobody knows who she is now. Had she went on this date, we would know her name. She's not famous. That's her Jesus. fault. You know, true. <laughs> you know what sucks, honestly? Ted Mitch. Bundy. Everybody knows Ted Bundy. But does anybody know who Ted Bundy killed? Yeah, exactly. Any of them. Yeah, any of them. Yeah. That's fucked up. Was Ted Bundy the one out of, like, the Seattle area? Yeah. Can we, I, that, that doesn't even count. There's, like, 30 of them out of the Seattle area. For whatever reason, that that well, yeah, area a, of fucking Green River like Killer, Green River Killer, yeah. Ted Bundy, and there's Seattle another sucks. big name there. Too. But he was. Yeah, but what I'm saying they, is, they, they need another. Everybody one. knows <laughs> the name of the killer, but they don't know the victims. Yeah, right? yeah, that's exactly. what's fucked up. Anyway, go ahead. That one wasn't that uh, fun. Sorry, writer director Eli Roth came up with the. Pr- the premise for the movie Hostel after discovering a Thai website where people can actually pay to torture and kill other humans. Bullshit. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. That's right. I don't know. I can't find it. <laughs> I'll get you one tonight. <laughs> That's sketchy, though. But it was a Thai website? I guess. Why do we care, then? Because you can torture and kill other humans. It's a Thai website. <laughs> Sounds cool. Robert's like, what's the link? Right. <laughs> I'll get you guys a link, don't worry. Tor, why hey, would you get us go a, to Thailand? Get us a link to your uh, hooker. Thailand's not going to be Thailand anymore. Mitch is going to need it. Is that the one they're going uh, after Thailand? I think so, isn't it? China? Taiwan. I still have hey, Taiwan. Yeah, Taiwan. hey, Mitch, yeah, right, right. if we all went in on that hooker. Mm. Nope. No? Did you nope. see it? For the tits? podcast. Dude. What's that? For the podcast? Okay. Yeah, you don't have to pay for it, which is you were you were fine with paying a few dollars for a meth out chick as a hooker. How much is it? But how about two hundred bucks an hour? For how what? many of us are there? It'd be like twenty five bucks. What? That's forty. That'd be forty a piece. That'd be fifty a piece. Fifty a piece, right? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Not five. out of your guys' pockets. Not out of your guys' pockets. Let's set up like a GoFundMe. But like, so if all is hmm? somebody get like a FaceTime? If all five of us pay for it, FaceTime. That's he's video. Oh. Who's videoing you? George. If all five of us paid for it. I'll call him back here and say it. No, I'm not paying for it. Oh, oh so if all four wait, of us wait, paid wait. for is it. Is it a write off? <laughs> it's for the show. Or of course, course it's a write off. I'm done. I'm done. You <laughs> could write it off. Okay, let's wait until we're making money so it can be a show write off. How about you just do it so maybe you're like, you know, so Rob likes cooler? Me. I'm just here. In hands. What up? It's just a screenshot. In the hands. <laughs> in, hands. <laughs> in hands. You're missing the keyboard sound. In hands. In hands. Man, you enhanced in hands. a lot. Nah, I don't think so, man. There's a lot of them up there. You'd catch something. Look at her. They have, like, condoms, and you can wear three of them. Yeah. That ruins it. Doggy. You're going to meet some girl you like and then catch something anyway, job. so. Yeah. What you got to do is you got to pour, like, you got to make her, like, pussy chug the Her whiskey. email is Steven. <laughs> no. No. That's probably the pimp guy. <laughs> no, her email is Steve. No. Steven at KumiteMMA.com. <laughs> No, it's, it, no, this one's actually cum tit. Oh. <laughs> and you, you must be dyslexic because it's Stephanie Cruz. Oh, bullshit. It's 22. It's Stephen I. Cruz, 22. No, you're missing what he's trying to say. He's trying to nonchalantly say, find a male hooker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Back page male hooker. No, no price is above Mitch's. <laughs> that is one hey, thing look. I probably will not Google. Here, okay. I think I've Googled everything else. I'm not going to Google a male hooker. Look, all I'm saying is $5 with teeth, $10 with no teeth. That's what, like, you you will you will take. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to cost way more you than that. You could probably go down. It's going to cost way more than that for me to pop my teeth out. What route are you on? <laughs> <laughs> like, these are real. That's going to hurt. It's going to be more than, more than an extra five bucks. Texture. No. Why not? Putting this in my fucking pocket. Dude. <laughs> if you're as charming with her as you are on the show, she'll probably give you a freebie. I, 
<laughs> At least 50% off. Hey, just, just tell her a story. And you hate passing up a good deal. I'll wind up paying back an alimony after the 15 minutes. That's how charming I am. <laughs> For the podcast. No. Love the podcast, but no. No dedication. We've all made no. sacrifices. Oh, bullshit. Corey, what have you done? Tell you what, ultimatum time. The hooker or the show? It's like you either stay part of the sh- wait. Hold on, yeah. do the hooker. Yeah, you're not stay making- on the show. Don't do the hooker. You're gone. Like I said, you can't afford a restraining order. We can pull up. <laughs> you guys in for the restraining order? You got to do the hooker. We just have to wait another. We'll have to wait another month on the advertisement and. Yeah. Use, I want my use his Dude, has it been that? so long since you've had sex that you just don't want it anymore? Is that how that works? I, apparently. <laughs> like, do you do you like draw like eyes and shit on your hands and? No, I don't do, draw them. Do you like? No, googly eyes and Elmer's glue. It's I'm good, pretty it's sure he just treatment. removed his penis That'd and melted it down though. to That'd make some bullets. Yeah, and he's all like doing puppet noises and shit. <laughs> What's a puppet noise? Oh. Got to carry off the Ooh. 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 Party foul. Podcast foul. Here, put another one in that one. Holy shit, Corey, is Jay going to drive you home? This is why we have to buy, like, terrible tasting shit. Dude, no shit, right? You really had to leave the show to talk to him? Well, Fuck that guy. Uh, whose one's this one? Yeah, Georgie. Well, I mean, I, he kept calling, so I was like, maybe he's... Dying? You, if I kept calling, maybe, maybe you're in probably his will not his answer. When was the last time he called? I've heard from him, like, that's what I'm saying. Like Since the last mm-hmm. podcast. So <laughs> I didn't know. He got bored, went down his list, finally, like... Well, I didn't know if I didn't know if he was... He doesn't have a life. Jay. I didn't know if he was stuck in a ditch or something. I didn't fucking know. So I just, uh, shit, he just kept calling. So probably would have been his own, th- own fault. Yeah. Probably. If yeah. I'm going to be honest. Sounds I mean, like he was having a pretty good Well, time. I've never been stuck for somebody else's fault. It's always been mine. Hmm. I'm just saying. Hmm. He thought he was stuck in a ditch. Come on, Corey. Guys, I honestly I didn't know. smile. Look at those teeth. Well, I'm just saying, because you have braces, or are they naturally that straight? When you haven't heard for something, what do you think? Did I have braces? Yeah, I've seen your picture with you with braces. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, oh, you got, scar- you got scars from his braces? No, I don't have scars from his braces. <laughs> <laughs> Pedophile. Corey's a no-teeth motherfucker when it comes to blowjobs. Does he wrap his lips over his teeth? Dude, I'll just say this. Corey can suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even deny it. He's like, I want to argue it, but I love the compliment. The, the, the widest person in the show is turning red right now. I'm yeah. just saying. What time are you going Dude, in in the morning? Embrace your qualities. Okay, okay. What a talent. What a talent. What is that? I'm just going to start calling you cocksucker for now. Okay. Oh, I got a fun fact. For, for a while, Sean's going to be like, why the fuck do they keep calling him cocksucker? I guess he used to call me monkey nuts. Sean? Yeah, that was my nickname. I wonder what he calls me. Fucking asshole. <laughs> no, he just calls you. I think he calls you to try and come to work when you don't show up. No, it's not him, it's Ren. Oh. And he, he always out. waits till like 11. He didn't even call me last time. He waited for me to call him. That's I think other people called you. Just you. Yeah. No. He was there when I tried to call you. Yeah, did you try calling me today? Oh, that was an accident. I, I meant to hit Jim's fucking thing, and your name was under it, and fucking. And you're like close enough. Fuck it. Yeah, hit J Bob. How the Jim fuck Bob. did you spell <laughs> their names? Because I just went to the recents. Because oh. it was J and then Jim, but I, yeah, I hit J Bob. And it rang for like Bob. a second, and then I and then I was like, it instantly went away, and I'm like, I bet you accidentally called me. Yeah. So can, can I say my fun fact yet? Yeah. Let's it, it involves cocksuckers. Hell yeah. Okay, so you know the term... Tread lightly. Okay, do you know the term cockeyed? Like cross-eyed, they call it cockeyed? Do you when, know where that originates from? When you stick it all the way down her throat, her eyes It's go. from a cocksucker because they're focused and their eyes are crossed. That's where cockeyed comes from. <laughs> Is that yeah. what you do? My Me? wife my wife doesn't do that, so you must do that. Corey closes one eye. Close that one eye, Corey. Well, my... <laughs> Doing the wrap, wrap your lips around okay. your teeth and that's close kinda, that one eye. That's kind of sad because my wife does that, 
But and her eyes ain't crossed, so I don't know if that's because she's she's not she's not focusing it's on the, you. It's the two inch. She's not focusing <laughs> on you. <laughs> or she's looking at the like herpes right above the dick yeah, that's yeah. about to break out. <laughs> trying to, trying to, Corey yeah. just tries to make fucking eye contact the whole time, which is weird. She's you have to like look up at the ceiling and shit, but he's still just down there like. She's, Look at me, you bastard. <laughs> Jay, she's focusing on the swelling, like, six more months of that life insurance policy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. She's trying to suck the life out of you. You want another one? No, no, I'm good. Pussy. Seriously, I am. All right, um, well. Cheers to cocksuckers. <laughs> all right, shop for the end Jesus. of the show. No homo. Jay, do an no air homo. shot. What's that? Do an air shot. <laughs> It's actually pretty good. Take it, Jay. It's not bad, actually. It's pretty good stuff. Yeah, just take it, man. Just take it. Take just it. Take it. Take, yeah. it. Just take it like a man. Who was right. that? I guess I not. All right. Too. So thanks for tuning in to another episode of Stray Garbage Podcast. Oh, I think you've been like, take a shot. I was like, no, I'm good, man. Yeah. So, uh, hey, please rate and review. Rate Five review. star, even though if you hate us. Just help us out, man. We're like, share. Um, follow. We still have the contest for the... Uh, cousin fucker contest. Yep. We still only have one entry. <laughs> <laughs> so, looks like he's gonna, you're gonna win that shirt, bud. Uh, message me what size. <laughs> and, uh, oh, dude, I'm like so out of it today. Go to straightgarbagepodcast.com, look at the merchandise, buy a shirt, buy a hat. There's some good stuff on right. there. We, we got a possible, uh, gun giveaway coming up soon we sell uh, blue chew too what blue chew we sell that now blue chew yeah you just robert what are you chew. selling the people <laughs> we viagra. Need to know <laughs> edible viagra <laughs> edible viagra <laughs> yep I'll, we'll toss one of those in with every order of a shirt <laughs> i hope you're paying for this uh yeah i got like 30 at my house so all right all right <laughs> So, again, thanks for tuning in to another episode. Uh, We shall see you next week, guys. Peace out. Thank you. See ya. (laughs) (laughs) What was that? I don't know. I'm pretty hammered. (laughs) I got warrants, man. (laughs) For what? (laughs) (laughs) Jaywalk.